Cancer, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. Um, we're gonna see what your person's thinking and feeling, um, their next moves in the immediate future, potential outcome, and we might look at the blockages too, if there are any in this relationship. Just remember, energy is fluid. The roles can be reversed. Um, anytime you find this reading is the right time. If the title drew you in, it's for a reason. Let's just see. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Let's get into this. Uh, Show me clear and honest messages. Show me clear and honest messages, please. How does Cancer's person feel about them? How does Cancer's person feel about them? Okay, right away we got the Two of Cups. Beautiful energy. Um, they want to come into union with you. They see you as someone significant. Maybe even like you're like your soulmate. Um, ooh, and the Empress. This is beautiful. Right off the start, Cancer. Um, yeah, they they see you as abundant, as beautiful or handsome, as nurturing. Um, you're basically everything they want and they want to come towards you and well, i mean we're going to see their actions but they feel like they want to come towards you and come into union with you beautiful tell me more spirit how does this person feel about cancer the fool they want to take a leap of faith towards you um if you haven't met this person yet i do feel like it's soon but we are going to see immediate future actions um but yeah so far this is beautiful energy i just did a pisces reading and they had a beautiful reading as well so if you have pisces in your chart make sure you check out that reading as well um but this is how they feel about you they feel like they want to come together they see you as anything and everything they could have asked for it is the empress here but this is just the feminine energy so it's not gender specific it's not male or female um and they want to take a leap of faith towards this connection beautiful okay well let's just get right into then what actions will this person take towards cancer in the immediate future spirit what actions will this person take towards cancer in the immediate future thank you for the messages so far spirit The water signs today are having an amazing reading. It's just the energy is beautiful right now. Um, so they want to tell you how they feel. They have deep love for you. They feel like, again, this is just everything they could have asked for. Unconditional love here, creating a family if that's something that the both of you would want. Um, the King of Cups, their love runs deep. It's it's um, an ocean of love, you know. I will say sometimes the King of Cups can hold back a little bit. Um, their cup of love is there, but they might not always express it. So we're going to pull some cards on it. But I mean, yeah, they want to come forward and let you know, hey, you're the one. <laughs> you are the one for me, Cancer. It's pretty obvious so far even what three minutes in four minutes in tell me more about this person's actions towards cancer in the immediate future oh that just flew out all right knight of swords yeah they're coming in they're coming in quickly to communicate about this they're like listen i cannot let cancer go i gotta let them know asap this is how i feel about them i gotta go get my empress again not gender specific I gotta come into union with them. I gotta take this leap of faith. I gotta let them know how I feel. I will say the Knight of Swords can be a bit impulsive sometimes, so it can almost seem like it's gonna come out of nowhere and just be like, yo, what? Like, especially if you haven't been in contact with this person or you haven't met this person yet, it's gonna kind of feel like, um, what's the catch? Like, you just came out of nowhere here. Like, this, he's just, he's booting it, right? He's going towards his king or his queen or her king or her queen. Okay, anything else for this person's actions in the immediate future towards Cancer Spirit? This is a beautiful reading so far. Amazing. Let's see. What future or what actions will this person take towards Cancer in the immediate future? Spirit. 
Okay, so we have the Four of Cups. We do have a lot of water energy. So just Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you could be dealing with. Um, tell me more. I feel like they could, they feel like this could be a, like, if they don't take action towards this, they could feel like it's a missed opportunity. Um, but let me just keep, tell me more about this Four of Cups. What is this Four of Cups about? What is this Four of Cups about, Spirit? Before I say anything, I just want to get clarification from the cards. Okay, so the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so again, like they're gonna, it's it's like they come out of nowhere, right? Like this hand is not attached to anything. It's like the universe just coming in and offering this out of nowhere. Um, and I feel like, yeah, I feel like they think this will be a missed opportunity with you if they don't come forward because the Two of Cups is here, the Empress, the King of Cups, the Ten of Cups, like the energy here is what they feel for you is almost like, if they can't ignore it so they're like if i don't do this i'm gonna miss this let's just see what was the blockage between cancer and this person if there was one what was the blockage work could have been work they were just focused elsewhere um if they have their own business or they're just working all the time maybe they just did not have the time they're waiting for their ships to come in. Yeah, they were they were busy working, waiting, waiting for the right time even to come towards you, maybe waiting to reach a certain goal financially. I'm hearing um, waiting for their ducks to be in a row, so to speak. So that's what they were waiting for. That was the blockage. Um, but it looks like they're coming forward quickly to offer you something stable too, like the, the Ace of Pentacles is stability, right? Um, we do have Earth energy here too, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries energy with the Fool there. Let's see. Anything else about the blockage between Cancer and this person? What was the blockage between Cancer and this person? Okay, so I asked what the blockage was and the Eight of Wands came out. So maybe they weren't communicating as much as they should have been communication because because the ace the eight of wands is all about lots of messages coming in so if this was the blockage maybe it's almost like it was upside down like um not not communicating the way they should have maybe not even telling you how they really felt about you because there's a lot of love here like the i feel like like i just feel the love i can just feel it i don't know how else to explain it that was a poor explanation <laughs> my bad Let's just see, what's the potential outcome between Cancer and this person? Judgment, second chances. Okay, so I definitely feel like this is someone you had already connected with in the past. And, and they were busy working, busy doing something else, weren't communicating the way they should have with you. They were waiting for something to come into alignment for them that had really nothing to do with you. And now the potential outcome here is they want a second chance. I feel like they've gone inwards, they've done some inner work, they've understood um, their contribution to this relationship or lack thereof and they're like cancer please like i i get it now um you know can we get back together <laughs> let's see what is the potential outcome between cancer and this person's spirit tell me more thank you for the messages so far two of wands okay so and two of swords pay attention to synchronicities double triple numbers um, and pay attention to your thoughts when you see them and then look up the meanings of the numbers. So I feel like um, I feel like you're gonna be undecided about this. I feel like they're coming back for a second chance. They wanna talk to you, they wanna under they wanna offer you a solid offer, they wanna let you know how they felt or what was going on with them, but you're still kind of undecided. You're like, should I jump in with this person? Um, because of what they did already? Like, do I even have time for this now? I'm hearing Tell me more, tell me more spirit. Tell me more about this two of swords. What is this indecision? Tell me more about this two of swords. Thank you for the messages so far, spirit. Where is this? So Ace of Cups, yeah, like, do you want to go for it? Do you want to, like, accept this person's love? Do you want to jump into this? Um, or do you want to, 
yeah or do you want to like walk away from this move to a different in different direction like you might still feel confused or maybe you just feel like this person was like just too slow you know like you can meet someone you can connect like everything can be there but then they just come in too slowly or like they're like give me six months like i gotta get this uh, you know going for work and it's like you want to wait but like really you're not like you don't need to sit around and wait for anyone either so i feel like the indecision is like either accepting their cup of love that they are going to come in and offer or um yeah just keeping your options open moving to a different direction you know um slowly or or even taking it slowly with them i don't know take what resonates hmm interesting Okay, well, let's see what angel messages we have for you, Cancer, regarding this situation. Spirit, what messages do you have for Cancer regarding this situation? Look for a sign. Okay, so you, this is a sign that I like to do. I live downtown in a busy city. But the majority of cars that you see are what? White, black, gray. So I'll walk, for instance, and say, okay, universe, if um, I'm on the right path or if so-and-so is going to connect with me, show me um, a yellow car or show me... I, I asked for a purple car a couple weeks ago and dead ass, no word of a lie, the cars showed up within... The purple one within a day and the yellow one within a couple hours. Um, and like pulled up right beside me when I was walking and like busy downtown as well. So like look for a sign. You can ask for a sign. Ask for a sign from the universe. Universe, if I'm meant to be with this person and come back together with them, show me a blah. Pick whatever. Um, but And pay attention to it. And, and have faith that that is the universe connecting with you and and talking to you right because it can be easy can be easy to be oh well you saw a yellow car like so what like you know whatever but i specifically asked for that and then like an hour or two later when i was walking one pulled up right beside me so it's like i could dismiss that and say that was just a yellow car no big deal or i could be like the universe is actually like talking to me in science because the universe is always communicating with you so let's see what else. What other messages do you have for Cancer and this person or about this person's spirit? Oh. It's up to you. Yeah, so I feel like with that indecision, with that two of swords, like you can choose to accept this cup of love or you could choose to, you know, keep your options open and move elsewhere, you know, move slowly towards something else or, you know, options like seven of cups is all about options, you know. Um, so it's up to you whatever you want we all have free will and there's no wrong decisions either right cancer so let's see anything else no interesting what is this no about pisces got that as well so again if you have pisces in your chart or your person you're dealing with a pisces go check that out don't stop no don't stop huh let's just let's what is this about spirit what is this no about spirit for cancer, what are you talking about for this no? What is this no? Can you can you clarify this no, please, Spirit? Oh, thank you. Six of Wands, Page of Swords, Ten of Swords, and the High Priestess. Okay. I feel like this is asking you to use your intuition. I feel like there could have been a, a, hard, a hard ending with this situation, or maybe there's some sort of painful ending here, but use your intuition because you know what's best. You, you're gonna come out on top either way. I also do feel like this is this person checking you out on social media, especially if you have social media. Um, but the no, I feel like is talking about, it doesn't have to end in this 10 of swords energy. Like we don't have to stay there, right? We can, we can overcome it. It's up to you, right? That's what I'm getting from that. I hope that makes sense. Um, okay, let's see. Let's see what messages we have from this deck for Cancer. Spirit, what messages do you have for Cancer for this connection? For them and their person. Your commitment is being tested. Okay, so sometimes I feel like situations, it doesn't always have to be relationships, but this is a relationship reading. 
goes through like an initiation period almost like if this person like wasn't fully committed before and now they're coming back it's like again you do, you have free will if you're like no this person screwed me over i don't want anything to do with them then that's totally fine um but i feel like this reading specifically is asking for you to to understand that um your commitment is being tested in the sense that it will be worth it in the long run because the energy here is really beautiful but again it's up to you it's up to you it's going to be your choice right like everything is your choice we all have free will but i'm saying like um if you feel like this relationship is worth it right now your commitment is being tested towards it hold your vision so i'm going to post down below um make sure you check out your moon sign too i'm going to post down below how to find your moon sign but also a really cool manifestation te technique that i use all the time that like works really well um and holding your vision yeah i just feel like that's whatever thoughts become things right whatever energy you put out there will be will come back to you it's law of law of attraction um so hold whatever vision you want and if you have a vision for yourself with this person hold it and it will come to fruition that's what i feel like the universe is trying to say right now take it how it resonates for you let's see let's get a wisdom of the oracle Spirit, what messages do you have for cancer and river? Oh, right away. We have never ending story and no place like home. So we have 50, uh, which reduces to five and 37, which reduces to 10. So if five or 10 has been significant for you recently, um, let's read them. Um, I feel never ending story came out first. So let's see, 37, I'm gonna read from the book here. 37, so self-criticism, the wounded ego, unnecessary dramas. So let's read the relationship message. Sometimes your heart enters into a contract with another that results in pain, not because of abuse or neglect, but for other more complex reasons. Shame, fear of intimacy, and low self-esteem are the greatest challenges to, to the success of a, of a relationship. Consider how valuable this knowledge is, however. Right now, you have an opportunity for important healing, but you must reflect on the stories you, you weave about love, connection, abandonment, rejection, and loneliness. Not only do you need to begin a new story, you need to forgive yourself for telling yourself the old ones. Have compassion for the part of you that believes all those narratives. None of them were ever true anyway. Okay. So I feel like this is connected to that Ten of Swords energy. And I asked, I asked what, no. So we don't, like I was saying before, we don't have to dwell in this betrayal energy. I feel like you can, you're gonna come out on top either way, right? Whether you choose this person's love or not, but um, yeah, so Spirit's asking you, you know, like be aware of the narratives you've created in your, in your, in your life. And we all have them, but have compassion for yourself and then realize like you do deserve more, right? And you do deserve to have it all. Okay, number 50, let's see. So no place like home, authenticity, coming home to yourself, feeling at home, arriving at a place where you just fit, being comfortable in your own skin. Let's read the relationship message. Lovers, friends, and companion animals are at home in your life right now. You are in sync and full of love and you can be secure in the knowledge that is reciprocated. Relationships elicit a sense of emotional safety, comfort, and the best aspects of familiarity now. Be home in this relationship. Together you add to the love of the world. So yeah, if you feel like this person brings you a sense of comfort and, you know, maybe it didn't have the best beginning, um, you know, or things went a certain way, this person definitely wants to come forward. They definitely feel the love. The potential outcome is beautiful as well. It's just, it's up to you. And there's no wrong decisions, right? So this is what I have for you, Cancer. I hope something resonated. Um, if it did, please like, share, subscribe. I would love to have your energy with me. Um, thank you so much for being here. Love and light.